Sorry I wasn't there, guys, but I just don't give a fuck. Yes, Connor, my Jeezy Gregor. I just made that up, and I don't know really what it was. Just come out. Not too sure. Connor McGregor made history. I'm actually cutting off my head right now. Let me sort you guys out. This is better. Two things. One, look. They were never there before. She's moved in and she's bought all her stuff. I told you she was going to take over my space, and she is. But I did say she could, so it's kind of okay, I suppose. That I have to live with a girl. But Connor McGregor, guys, made UFC history at UFC 205 in Madison Square Gardens. He now owns the 145, 145 pound belt and the 155 pound belt. No other UFC fighter in history has ever held two belts at the same time. You've had, uh, I think it's BJ Penn, and you've had Randy Couture win two belts in two different weight classes, but not holding those belts simultaneously. But now, Conor McGregor has made history by knocking out a fighter that has never been knocked out before. Eddie Alvarez has never been stopped. And what does Conor McGregor do? Boom. One left hook in the first round. He literally looked like he was out on his feet when he was hitting the canvas. Fair play to him. Got up. Seemed to weather a bit of a storm. I think he got knocked down again. I think it was about two or three times in the first round that he got knocked out. Or knocked down, sorry. Um, it was literally going downhill from then. Didn't have anything to answer McGregor's. Even though McGregor had... I think it was five inch reach advantage. He definitely made that count. Alvarez did not have anything for him. Couldn't get his wrestling going, couldn't get his punches going, couldn't close the range down quick enough. McGregor was just picking him off with that left hand of his. Which, come on guys, have any of you seen a fighter with such a devastating one punch? Now, I know people like you go going back a long time ago, Lennox Lewis's jab used to destroy people. It was unheard of. People weren't knocking anyone out with their jab. Lennox Lewis comes along destroying people with his jab. But have you ever seen one person be able to deliver such a precise precision is unreal on Conor McGregor? It is literally exactly like he said. But precision beats power and timing beats speed. If you can hit them on the button, you haven't even got to him. Going back years ago, you had Anderson Silva, possibly. I need to do my homework, but knocks out Oris Griffin as he's leaning back on the, on the retreat. Just throws out a left hook, I think it is, or even a right hook, I can't remember. I'm just thinking off the top of my head here. Just catches him as he's running backwards. Boom, KO, knocks him out. So it just shows you that the accuracy of a punch is more important than the power of a punch. You know, if you're hitting someone flush in the face and a meaty part, say the top of the head, like uh, in the skull, and you hit them as hard as you can, and then someone hits you half as hard and just catches you on the end of the chin, then boom, lights out, game over. Now I'm actually going to be doing, now I want to start to move into the... Uh, the martial arts side of things as well. And I do these videos on McGregor and I'm gonna start doing them on other UFC and all martial arts sort of um, topics. But I wanna start explaining to you guys a little bit about what I do and a little bit about how the body works um, in fighting and stuff like that. So, you know, you've got two ways to be knocked out. You've either got where your brain rattles around your, uh, sorry, rattles in your skull or you've got where your skull rattles around your brain. Now they're caused um, by two different types of hits. So I'm gonna do videos like explaining how and why these sort of things happen to us, um, ways to either train to, to be able to deal with certain situations better, and also, you know, just showing you some 
kind of techniques and ideas and principles and stuff of fighting that we believe in, that we teach. So look out for those videos. I'm gonna do like a separate martial arts playlist for those sort of things. But Conor McGregor has made history. He is, he's gotta be classed now as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world in my opinion. Literally every single person he goes in there with, he outclasses, he out tactics, he out, out everything. He literally stops them doing what they do and just takes them into his own world. Now I know you can say about the whole Nate Diaz situation, but you've got to think, like I've said before in my other video, we're going to go V Nate Diaz, so check that out. You, you're fighting someone who is literally like, it's about 15 odd pounds heavier and you've had to put that weight on in like nine days. So that is not gonna be lean muscle that is gonna affect your cardiovascular system, which is exactly what happened. And in my opinion, that is exactly the reason that he lost the fight, because up until that point, where he could barely even hold his own hands up and he got caught, he was teeing off on Nate Diaz. You can say what you like, but the fact of the matter is he was destroying. Just look at both fighters after the fight. He was absolutely destroying Nate Diaz. So up until that point, until he literally was gassed out, got caught, and then the end came, as we all know. But look, when they both had two training camps, both ready for each other, at that 170 weight, he again just destroyed Nate Diaz and deservedly won that fight. Moves up, well, moves down from that weight, but up from his normal weight at 145, fights 155, fights the title of a guy who put away a Brazilian that was the champion, was teeing off on Rafael de Sanjos, literally just destroying him. I mean, I think it was about 60 seconds in about a minute. Destroyed him, and Conor Roga made Eddie Alvarez just look like a bum fighter. Literally destroyed him. Made history, literally the most entertaining guy in sport as a general at the moment. You know, I'm a massive, massive football fan, but there is no one in football that is as entertaining, as brash, as outspoken as Conor McGregor. And fair play to him. He talks the talk and he backs it up. He backs it up every single time. You cannot, you might not like him, but you cannot not respect him. He does everything he says he's gonna do. He puts it all on the line every time. Like he said, he is the most active fighter. So, fair play to Conor McGregor. He deserves it. Congratulations. And guys, I just don't give a fuck.